Hello everybody, this is Barbie. I'm here today to uh, do a quick video. I got this, I had this idea last night uh, about doing a belly band uh, using um, some of these elements here. This is an old uh, seed packet. Well, it's a picture of an old seed packet. You know what I mean? Um, anyhow, so I thought I'd just do a little quick craft along with me. I've got everything kind of organized that I think I want to use, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, so, hope you're having a wonderful day today crafting. And um, let's see what we can do here. All right. I made what I did is I just took a piece of uh, craft paper. Looks like ticking. And um, sewed this um, little gathered up piece of fabric on there. Um, well, I didn't sew it onto here. I, I glued it on with the hot glue. But then I, I sewed it on, you know, to make it uh, ruffled. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, I've got some pieces of fabric that I want to use. And so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just start gluing. I don't want to think about it too much. I just want to do something fun without a lot of contemplation, if you know what I mean. And I figured the hot glue would be the quickest to get that done. And these little things here, I thought I would just take the... Um, ribbon that I cut and just twist it and lay it into the glue and hold it down for a sec and let's see here I think I'll use these on either end now I'm thinking yeah I want something like that and I Hot glue is stringy. So I'm thinking I need to put a little bit more of the fabric further up. Well, I hope everybody has found toilet paper today. <laughs> I decided I better not, uh, I better go ahead and get me some just in case. So considering everybody's grabbing it. So I found some online on uh, Amazon. Of course, I had to buy a case of it, but it's not, not like you won't use it up eventually, I suppose. Okay, let's see. Let's put a little bit of this lace on there. Yeah, it looks about right. I don't like the strings on the hot glue. But it is quick. Okay, if I do that, I, I want to have room for these little seed packets, but I don't want to totally cover up my flower. But I'm thinking about like so. I can always stick other little things in there. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. All right. I guess I'm praying for spring to get here, considering I, this is what I was dreaming about last night. So, that's a good thing. Okay, I found this in a book that I had, I bought, and I thought it was so pretty, a kind of an English um, country garden with a, looks like the, I don't know, Woody is there, but he's all dressed up in some sort of a uh, uniform, looks like, and a little girl waiting for him to pick her some flowers. How cute is that? <laughs> okay, I wanted to, yeah, do something like that right there, I think. So... No, that's too much. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this on this side, like that, I think. 
and then maybe like so. Yep. Okay. Considering this is already glued down over here. I mean the ribbon part. Just have to attack it. All right. Let's see what that looks like. Yep. I think that'll work. And then maybe put a little bit of that there. Yep. I'm going to kind of do that like so, and poke it in. Yeah, give it a bit of a gather. Now, that looks pretty good. Oh, we need another one of these little bows. Let's see, where do we want to put that? Maybe right there. I don't know, other side. Well, I'm going to get this down first. There you go. Yeah, maybe I'll just put this like if it's long enough. Let's see if there's a little bit longer one here. Maybe I'll do it like that. These aren't quite as long as they should have been. But I'm not going to cut another one, so it's going to have to work. Maybe I can put it like right there. If I can do it without getting my fingers burnt. There. That'll work. I have a butterfly to hide that up. Hide that part. Okay, I've got these other two. All right, let's see what else we want. I really like that. So, if I do that, I need one of these. Okay, I think I want to put this up here. Or maybe I need that. I think I need that one. Yeah. Like that. That looks good. So we need a bit of something underneath there. There you go. Like that. Another piece of lace on this side. Okay. We don't want to waste this, so we might as well put this up here someplace. We'll put it. Let's see. Yeah, I'll probably put something like that right there. There. Ooh. Hot. Hopefully, it 
Hopefully that'll hold down. There you go. Of course you can use, uh, you could use Fabri-Tac to do it, but Fabri-Tac is, um, will take a little bit longer, you know, to tack. And I already had my hot glue gun ready to go. Okay, let's see. We'll just stick this about like so. And that there. Oh, we forgot to put a little bit of this in there. Yeah. Let's put some of that in there. I guess I'm thinking about uh, Spring Journal here. Okay. Let me see if I need any more. Once I get this all done, I'll probably um, take some of this out because you can pull it out after you know what I'm saying yeah I'll put a little bit there I don't know as I needed to put that ribbon down there it looks like I've covered it totally up but um, I didn't want that dark paper to shine through and I already had it cut so I thought well okay I'll just put it in there Like so, and then this, tuck it under there a bit, yeah, okay, there you go, looks pretty good, let's see, do we need any more little ribbons? I think what I'll do is just put a couple like and underneath. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Now we need some butterflies. I picked out a couple. Now the deal on this is <clears throat> you gotta get the backing off from it. And that's not an easy job. I love these little butterflies, but boy, I'll tell you what. Sometimes those things are hard to get off. Oops. Now, let's see where to put it. That looks like a good spot. Yep. And we need one more since I already got it cut out. But where do we want it? Maybe right there. That's kind of close. Let's put one down here. Yeah, right there. Let me pull this out before I put the butterfly on there and get rid of some of that. There. Okay. And I'll see if I can get this one dislodged. Got it. Whoops. Nope. Come on. There you go. Okay. Right here. There you go. That didn't take too long to do. Of course, I already had all my stuff kind of figured out which would have taken longer if I hadn't have, so. But I didn't want to sit here and take up your time trying to figure out what to do, if you know what I mean. Let me see if I can get that twisted around there. And let me flip it over. Let's see if I can get that wing down. I think I want to put it over here on this corner. Twist 
twist it around. Come on. Before it dries. There, that'll work. Now. I'll cut this one off a little bit. this tack down. There we go. All right. I think everything is in place. Yep. Let me see. Okay. There was one other little thing I wanted to do. And I think it would be overkill, so I'm not going to do it. Need to be glued down a little bit. Okay. I think that is pretty good. Let me see if I can get it up there a little closer. So that was fun enough to do. And I think it'll look beautiful on a page of a book. I don't have anything here I can really show you, I don't think. Let me see real quick if I've got something that doesn't already have a bunch of, oh, here, I've got a page here, this is a, one I've gotten started, now, do you see, yeah, there you go, so, that was, I think that's really going to be um, not hard to do, and just using bits and pieces of of whatever fabric you have so there could be all kinds of uh, different ways to do this but um, that's one of them so there's one other little quick thing I thought I might show you real quick while I got the video running this is an envelope I did um, I believe it was uh, Tina yeah Tina with Shabba Dabba Doo -Dah. She did this, only she had a smaller envelope. Um, so this was my take on it. Um, the problem with this is it, the envelope is so big, so I'm going to have to use this like on a cover of a journal or something because it doesn't really fit well into, a, into the journal. But still, you can see how that would really be pretty in, the, in a journal. So that's kind of my idea I've got going as of now. Until next uh, idea that pops into my, my mind. My, my mind. Um, oh, yes. I was going to show you. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, we were talking about using. Um, what do you call it? Um, I don't know if that'll work using cold wax in order to bring out a uh, something that is not very um, prominent. And I was noticing I had uh, used, um, didn't have really good paper like I normally use, and I was impatient as usual, and I was looking for, I wanted to print out um, this stuff so that I could go ahead and get my journal started. And you can see how this is printed out on a premium, um, what is it called? Premium, oh, uh, I can't think of it right this minute. But anyhow, it's a good paper. And, and you see how the detail is, and it's really, really good detail. Okay, so some of these, I didn't have that paper. And I went ahead and printed anyhow. 
and I was noticing that they didn't look as good as I wanted them to look. So I tried the technique that I use when I do uh, watercolor in order to keep from having to, um, I don't know if I could do it on that or not, uh, in order to keep from having to seal, uh, I mean, under glass, having to put your watercolor under glass, um, you can use, here it is, uh, this, this is cold wax medium. And um, someone was talking about um, using baby oil to bring the details out in a in, um, picture or to seal it or whatever. And I've never used that. It may work just great. But again, I thought I would uh, show how this works real quick. That's one I've already done it on. It makes it real smooth. And it seals it too. On top of it all. So. I've already done that one. Well. Looks like i got one more place I can look. Probably all the way on the bottom as usual. I'd have to do the whole page if I did that one little thing there. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I was going to show you too. Uh, yesterday, when we did that collage page, this is how it turned out. I got it all done. And I made this little tag to go in it with some uh, paper I had stained. This is paper I had done. And turned out pretty cute I think so let me um, show you that real quick remember I was talking about putting the uh, ribbon on there or I was going to use this string and I ended up using this jute twine which I thought looked better I got it all stitched around and put my rows on there that I'd been wanting to use put a little uh, Tracy tag down there and put that on there. There's there's the one of them I used it on, I believe. Yeah. Anyhow, it really does a good job. Then I put this on here for our journaling tag. And I used a piece of paper so it would, you know, fold back and not be stiff. Okay, and that's the gist of it. It just folds up like so. And you can tie it up. The idea I had of using the button wouldn't work with this because of it being a trifold, and um, so I abandoned that one. That wasn't a good idea. Oh, I think this is it here. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to show you. Okay, let me do that real quick. I mean, it's simple, but still, if you've never done it before, sometimes you have questions. I normally just use a piece of uh, paper towel and then I just take some and put it on like so you can already see the rose lighting up I'm gonna just do half of it see if you can see it You can see the rose lighting up now. Look at the horse. See how it's, it's kind of, I don't know what you'd say. Like it doesn't have any life to it. So, let me do a little bit more on the horse there. Yep. It doesn't take much, just a little bit. Like this right here, I've used for a long, long time. And I've only used about half of it. 
All right, let me polish it. Once you get it on there, and just polish it in real good with the other side of your paper towel. And it's that quick. And the, it seals it and keeps it from being damaged in any way. Now look at the horse's face. See, you can see the lights and the darks much better. And when you feel of it, it's just real smooth. So, I don't know if it'll make any difference in this because this is meant to be look old, you know what I mean? But still, it, it, it's almost like you printed on a really fine paper when all it was was copy paper. So, at the very least, it makes it... Uh, it seals it and makes it totally durable. I didn't notice the difference that I noticed on this side. So, I guess that'll be it for today. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Uh, I've been busy this morning trying to um, get a uh, toilet paper <laughs> and um, a few more groceries just in case that we don't have any trucks running for a while. And uh, so I feel a little bit better about the situation. And I hope everybody has got a, enough food to last them for a good month anyhow. And at the very least, get you some beans, dried beans and some rice. And you've got a full protein there. It'll keep you going and it's cheap enough. But I hope that's not a necessary thing. So until next time. This is Barbie. Thank you so much for coming by and visiting my channel. And I will be talking to you shortly. Bye-bye.